I'm here at the Run Disney Expo at ESPN Wide World of Sports for Star Wars Half Marathon Weekend. Now I am here to check out the merch and all the Run Disney merchandise is actually in the new arena that they just finished. My gosh, they have Jabba the Hutt here. <laughs> I'm going to wait in line for this. So guess who actually got here on time? Andrew. Uh, He's on time for like the first time in his life. Wow. <laughs> wow. We talked, we said 10 a.m. I got here really early, but he was here at 10, so. That's what matters. Dude, I've been hydrating. You've been hydrating already? So Anjo missed my meet and greet with Jabba the Hutt, so we're gonna do it again. And anjo has got this whole pose like planned out. We'll see how that goes. Oh, it's gonna go awesome. See, that one, well, that one pretty good. Look, check that pimp out. Check that pimp out. Okay, so we've checked out all the merch. We got to meet Jabba the Hutt. I got to meet him twice. And now Anjo needs to go do his packet and bib pickup over here in the HP Field House. We're gonna go downstairs, find the line Anjo needs to get in. He will get his bib. He'll get his bib and then I think he also gets his race t-shirt because when you sign up for any of these Disney races, you automatically get included in your price a t-shirt for the race that you're in. So if you are doing the dark side challenge, like what Andrew's doing, he's actually probably gonna get three shirts, one for the 10K, one for the half marathon, and then one for the dark side challenge because that's the two races combined. To do your bib pickup, you actually have to have your waiver filled out. You can print this at home if you look it up online. You look up your name and your bib number, you print off your waiver, sign it and bring it here, and then you can go straight to pick up your bib. But if you forget to print your waiver, no problem. You can actually do it right here. They have computers and printers set up and it's already on the website. You just type in your name and everything and then your waiver gets printed out. So Anjo forgot his waiver, so he is doing that right now. So now that I have my waiver, time to pick up my bib. 
So they actually have a really nice sign in here that tells you what the weather conditions are going to be like on the race day. And they have a green flag that everything is going to be good to go. So that should be nice. Hopefully it's not too hot like it was last year. So to find where to pick up your bib, you actually just go to a desk one of these desks here that has your bib number on it. So it's not gonna have your specific bib number, but it will have a range of bib numbers. So you just find whatever race you're doing, whether it's a five, 10, half, or the challenge, and then you find your bib number range on the top of the station. And then that's where you go and you pick up your bib. And Joe got his bib. So we saw all the Run Disney merch. And Joe has his bib. And now we are going into the Health and Fitness Expo over in the Visa Center. So you cannot forget about your shirt pickup. So I thought you could get your shirts in the other building, but that's not true. You actually have to get them over here in the Visa Center. This is where you pick up the challenge shirts. After you get your shirt, if for some reason it doesn't fit, if it's too big or too small, you can come over here to this other side and try and see if you they have a size bigger or smaller so you can exchange. And Joe got his shirts. Yep. He is all set. Ready to go. Hydrating time. <laughs> So we just met Jeff Galloway, got his signature, and he gave us a little spiel for all you runners out there. Ready? Here it is now. The best advice I can tell you is to use Run Walk Run in all of your runs because you keep erasing the fatigue buildup and running never has to hurt. You're also in control over the whole process. So go to jeffgalloway.com and you'll see how to put that together and come to Atlanta in December. We have a fabulous race weekend. Again, go to jeffgalloway.com and it'll take you through. All right, now that's all. There you go. Thank you so much. Have Thank fun you, this Seth. weekend. <laughs> Thanks. I was like super pumped that he did a little monologue there for the vlog. I asked him, I was like, can you do something for the vlog? And he was like, okay, yeah, you know, What's the audience and what's your channel about? And then he gave his whole little spiel. And it was awesome. We also got our picture taken, which was even better. Josh is going to be a little salty that he wasn't here. My friend Katie. Hi. I ran into her at Magic Kingdom the other day, and then she just ran up. She's like, Taylor. <laughs> All like sneaky behind me. So they have a penny press machine in here that is limited edition Star Wars pennies. I didn't have any change, but they actually accepted cards or Apple Pay. So I used Apple Pay and got all eight for five bucks instead of a dollar each. So, and Joe did too over there. All right, so I think we are finished here at the expo and we are going to head out. If you have ever been to the Run Disney Expo, how do you like to do it? Do you like to come first thing in the morning or come later, check out the merch? What do you do when you come here? Let us know in the comments. And if you're racing this weekend, good luck.